Ooh, how was I discovered? So, I, at the time, was in the middle of doing my own consistency challenge, which is based off of uh, this challenge that my sister, who is a vocal coach, artist developer, artist, mogul, many different things. She has many titles. Her name is Akela. And uh, I had asked her, you know, if she can give me like, you know, a couple of songs that I could reimagine because that is something that I do on my page where I take a very popular song or a song that I've always loved and if I feel moved to do it, um, I will write a verse or just completely like rework it as if, you know, I was given that record and they said, hey, Iniko, can you put something on this? And she had given me the idea to rewrite uh, Do We Have a Problem by Nicki Minaj, uh, which is that's something that I do. I do these reimagined covers um, where I just take a song that I really love or a really popular song and I kind of rework it, reproduce it, rewrite it in a way that is more like me, more like Aniko. And I remember when she gave me the song and I was like, are we sure? Like, really? And you know, it's not that I haven't done, you know, rewrites of trap songs and, you know, I've done many different genres, but I was just like, okay, cool. And, um, I had reproduced the beat, all of that stuff, and like something was missing. Like I couldn't understand what it was, and then like I was like, wait, let me like add some like vocals. So I added the what you hear in King's Affirmation now, the and I did three harmonies of that just over and over and it like kind of got me in the zone. I was like, okay, this sounds more like an eco. And I just, I didn't even like, I didn't start writing first. I started speaking first. Like the words just started coming out and I was like, oh, okay, I should probably write this down because I'll, I'll forget it. And I didn't finish it, right? I had only done like a minute and 18 seconds of that. And uh, I just posted it. I posted it and um, that first, that first, version didn't actually go super super viral it it reached enough people um but it it wasn't until i did it a cappella sitting on the ground that it just it just lit up i and i remember too like and i remember too like just thinking to myself i don't i don't want to try too hard for this i just want to I'm just gonna do it. So I literally like just did my makeup. I did some some stuff in the middle. Was just kind of guided by spirit and just sat in my room and sang it. I will be one of the greatest. That is a vow and that is a promise. Always wanted to be famous. Just being real and just being honest. I did it twice. That take that you saw was the second take. And I was like, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> and I posted it. I posted it and I went to sleep. And the next day I woke up to like 50,000 notifications. That is not even an exaggeration. It was probably more. And I was just like, what's happening? Like what's going on? And I'm looking on my phone and I'm just like, oh wow, this is a lot. Like, and for me to say that is is a big deal because this isn't the first time I'm, I'm going viral. I, I've been, you know, on TikTok figuring it out for about two years now. And um, this was really the first time that I think I surpassed like, two million likes in just like two weeks. And I was just like, what is happening? And that was just on TikTok. And I know that like the video has found itself on like other social media platforms and stuff too. So I can only imagine like, just like, I, I can't actually fathom how many people have heard this and seen me. And that was, that was kind of the beginning. Uh, and that's how uh, Columbia found me really. And they, they asked me like, where is this song? Is it done? You know, we were kind of like, yeah, it is. It wasn't done. It wasn't finished. <laughs> so I literally, like, I wrote the second verse, like, four days later, I think, because, like, it wasn't just uh, Columbia was reaching out. It was so many labels, like, so many different labels. But I was just like, dang, let me write the second verse. And I wrote it, like, really fast in, like, 10 minutes, sent it to Akela. And that this was the first time that I built a song this way, where I built it, like, over the course of, like, weeks at a time um and then also you know doing our best to not be influenced by other people's like remixes of it because remember it's an acapella so it's very easy to just take and you know and 
Uh, I won't lie, that was really hard for me because copyright, all of that stuff, and just the fact that the song wasn't out yet. So it was like really hard to just keep it as original as possible because we don't want it to sound like somebody else's brainchild. So that was a that was a challenge, but I'm, I'm really proud of us because what the song is now is even better than I can imagine. And uh, yeah, that's that's probably not just how Columbia found me, how you found me, so yeah.